Uh, my name is Jerry Benjamin Bishop. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to come and you know, share our blueprint with you. Uh, some of the things that had already been shared, in fact, it's not the detailed uh, what we intend to do. But uh, I think first and foremost, in fact, the person that should lead Plateau must be a born-again Christian. I think that is the number one thing. If you know Christ, in fact, other things will be easier for you. What I was able to do is that I had given my letter of intent, you know, to the church. I've given to the president. I've given to the reverend in charge with my blueprint. But, you know, somebody talk about security. Honestly speaking, what we have for security is very simple. You know, before we started this journey, we had to seek the face of God. And until when we had a clear direction, that was how we came into this. But what we did first was we had to do need assessment of Plateau State. If you want to govern Plateau State, you must understand Plateau in its entirety. And what we did, we went through the 17 local government to make sure that we know their needs. It was based on that need that we came up with the blueprint. The next thing we did also was to come up with a SWOT analysis. That's strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and traits of Plateau State. And based on you know, what we discovered, we discovered that Plateau is highly geared, we're highly indebted. So if you are coming in to be the governor of Plateau State, you may end up being a worse governor than, in fact, the best governor. So what we did was we had to look for investors. For the past one year, we have, going, we have been going around to look for investors so that when you come in, you'll be able to manage, you know, the state, you know, very well. But, you know, the first thing that we got based on the need assessment is the issue of security. And what we intend to do, you know, in those days, our parents were living on mountains, they were living on hills, they were living on rocks. But we have left all those places to our enemies. They will come down, kill us, go back. Come down, kidnap us, go back. What we intend to do is that, in fact, the first thing that we intend to do to take care of security is to go and pass a law into the State House of Assembly. All our hills, all our mountains, will convert them to tourism centers. So that, in fact, when they are able to leave those areas, at least we'll be able to sleep with our two eyes closed. And we also want to involve, you know, the issue of technology. In fact, we have gotten, you know, people, you know, in fact, it's called ICT DOT. In fact, they will mount a satellite, you know, up, build, you know, a situation room. Then, in fact, we'll be monitoring because if you are able to take care of internal security, in fact, there will be external security coming. So once we're able to monitor that to some extent, it will be able to do a lot of, you know, things for us, you know, on the plateau. So those are some of the things that we are looking. Then we, have, in fact, we plan to look at education, healthcare, you know, human development, agriculture. In fact, by profession, in fact, I'm a consultant of finance and agri-value chain. And because of that, I've been deeply involved in that. So I want to involve our youth seriously in some of the things that we are doing. And, you know, in aggressive agriculture, most of us, honestly speaking, we are planting grains, not, you know, real seeds. And grains are meant for us to, to, I mean, to consume. So those are some of the things that we are looking at. You know, uh, critical infrastructures, mineral resources, tourism, you know, women and youth, you know, development. Those are some of the things that we are looking at. In fact, he's looking at me. So thank you very much, and God bless you all. Thanks.